thank you to the Drum School for this wonderful event. And I hope you guys enjoy these last two songs we have in store for you two, for you all. <laughs> Silver Moon. You can find us on Silver Moon Seattle on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube, and all that. Soon, also on Spotify. So you were that. <laughs>
and soon even on Spotify. Keep that in mind. Let's give these guys check, check, check. Thanks, guys. All right, let's give these guys one more hand, round of applause. Come on, that was that was amazing. All right. So before you guys leave the stage, I just have a few questions for you. Uh, for one, just what's your name? How long you've been playing? Um, and we'll start with that. Yeah. So. Oh, that's my so. Right. So again, we're Silver Moon, and uh, you want to know how long we've been playing? Yes. So actually, it started with just me and my sister on the drums for a few years, and I don't know how many years that's been. Um, long time. Long time. Yeah. Long time. Years, years, years. Like since I was in middle school, and I'm a sophomore now. So. And then Daniel recently joined Jet, actually this year, so. And then Daniel, then, do you want to tell us how long you've been playing? I haven't been playing bass for like maybe two months, because I'm mainly a drummer, but these guys needed help, they needed a bass player, so I was like, oh, what the hell, why not, so. Yeah. Okay. Two months? Two, I, I mean, I guess you are a drummer, so kind of, it, it carries over. Yeah, I get that. Uh, one more time, what's your name? How long have you been playing? Okay, I'm EDL and I'm 13. I've been playing drums since I was like five. And I've, I've been playing with my sister. That's so that's, that's what? Um, I, I didn't pass math class. How many years is that? Maybe. Um, too many. Uh, too many. That's good enough. Um, but yeah, let's see. And you said we can find you guys on Instagram, correct? Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube at Silver Moon Seattle, and soon on Spotify, it's just Silver Moon, I feel like, right? Yeah, yeah, just Silver Moon on Spotify, so you should definitely check us out. We're gonna actually, many of the songs we just played are gonna be uh, on Spotify. Nice. And, oh yeah, and we have, we have a few songs already on SoundCloud, down at Silver Moon. Yeah, yeah, Silver Moon. Uh, I just got so, one more, oh, sorry. Yeah. I just got one more question for you. How'd you guys get connected with the drum school? Um. So back last year, back in September, we heard about this like all ages like jam session. We're like, oh cool, let's go check it out. And then we went and we, we even got to feature. Um, and then we got an email telling us about, hey, there's gonna be like this like band thing going on. So I went and joined that was like a summer band thing and still ongoing. Uh, for that's like where I met like all the people in Doc, uh, the next band's gonna play, and no, the third band's gonna play. And that's mainly how I got Join the drum school. Nice, nice. I appreciate it. Well, thank you guys for coming out. Um, this once again is Silver Moon Seattle. Yeah. Robert packing up and invite our amazing school manager Casey up on stage for just two more words. All right. Thank you, Chandler. So Chandler actually has quite the history with the school as well. We uh, let's see. Started as a student of one instrument, switched to another instrument started interning uh, in our engineering department, helping with some of the live events at our venue, the Lab at 1010, uh, and then became our live stream specialist, and then uh, production assistant, uh, and now full-blown engineer, and yeah, production supervisor, uh, whatever. A lot of hats, basically. But uh, Chandler also has released music under Chandler Dabs as an EP. It's actually, uh, actually going to be changing soon. It's, it's going to be changing be, soon. All right, well, you'll get back up here and tell yeah. us about that later. Anyway, just let me know, like, this is a whole family affair, and that's the beauty of it. And thanks again to Tim's Tavern for having us back the last time we were here. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Because last time we were here, it ended up being like 20 degrees or something, and we all crammed ourselves inside. Um, but this time, because it's a beautiful, balmy, what, 74 degrees out here in Seattle, uh, <laughs> we get to be outside in the patio, so this is pretty cool. <coughs> Excuse me very much. So uh, we are live streaming on uh, the Seattle Drum School YouTube, and actually, uh, the very beginning of this presentation, this youth music showcase here, uh, got cut off on the live. So I'm just gonna tell you again what we're doing, except I don't have my list of who is performing. So I do know next up we've got Ari and Connor, otherwise newly minted as the Break Lines. So 
yeah, come and, you know, do all the equipment moving around things here while I do space filler, because, you know, I'm really good for that. <laughs> all right, so this is actually a fundraising event uh, for, uh, uh, th well, let's, let's see. Can you hand me that flyer that's over there? <laughs> I've got, I think it looks like I've got a minute to talk. All right. So Seattle Drum School of Music has nearly 40 years of helping support, create, develop, connect uh, the music community, both in North and South Seattle. Um, but we are just recently fiscally sponsored by Allied Arts Foundation because of events that we do like this. Um, second Sundays, but it's second Saturdays at Tim's this time, but you know, a, a variety of other opportunities that we provide for people to connect. Uh, so you are able to donate either by finding one of these flyers if you're in person here at Tim's uh, and using the QR code if you're watching from afar. Uh, you can uh, find information on Seattle Drum School Dot com, or if you want to go to Allied Arts Foundation, we're listed there. And uh, yeah, you can make tax-deductible donations there. Uh, you can also donate to, if you specifically want to support tuition assistance uh, for you, uh, you, youth musicians in need, uh, you can go to meansfordreamsfoundation.org. Um, or, you know, if that's, a, that's too much and you just want to, you know, flip a few bucks at us, you can always Venmo at Seattle Drum School. Easy peasy. Yeah, yeah. So, we are also going to be welcoming to the stage while the break lines finish setting up. We are going to have the first performance of Band Duck. Uh, we are going to have the Rain City Rockers. I know, where did all my applause go? I'm sorry, you guys, I didn't talk, you know? <laughs> and then we'll be closing out with Paper Heart. Yes, and then with whatever time we have left, we're gonna put together some Mojam. Did I miss somebody? I said Rain City Rockers? I did. Oh, I must have forgotten. All right, so, the, you, <laughs> All right, who's going to introduce them? All right, well then I'm going to step out the stage and let Ari introduce them. But give him a round of applause as soon as he announces it, okay? Yeah. Hello everybody. Uh, we're the Break Lines. We're about to play some music for you. Uh, right on that we really line. do hope you like it. If you don't, tough. Yeah, uh, that's yeah. great. All right, I think we're about ready. Are you ready, Bob? Okay. Nice and loud. All right. Mm, I'm not. I won't be singing. <laughs> uh, is the kick making sound? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. We're good.
Okay.
All right, bear with us here. Yeah? Don't, don't mess with your face. Just, yeah. Right. Everybody, we, we made this song yesterday. We practiced it just about two times. That goes for pretty much all the songs I've said. questions I asked for uh, Silver Moon. For one, uh, how did you guys meet? It's a cool story. <laughs> well, we went to the Mojam. Uh, well, I, I was the only one there, apart from this master of sound and uh, life. Uh, yeah, I'm just, I don't know how to. Right. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. Come to him, come to him with their problems. Uh, <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> uh, anyway, it's this guy and then um, What's the All right. Uh, it was this guy and another guy called Christian. Uh, he's not here, but he's also a legend. Um, anyways, those people and this man right here, who's also a legend. And I walked in. It was those people, and he was up there playing the drums, really, really, really flipping well. 
and I thought to myself, hey, I want to play music with that guy, and so I did. Um, <laughs> you guys gonna save yourself? Yeah, so I came in there first, and there was no one there, and then I was like, oh, I guess it's just me to jam alone, until, he, until I get to meet him, and that's kind of where our relationship started from there. And yeah. this was like recent too, like this around... This was very recent, like several weeks ago. Yeah, several yeah. weeks ago. Yeah. Also, a shout out to the Glass Bean shirt. That band is awesome. Heck yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's right. Well, uh, so yeah, these guys, these guys met at Mojam or uh, our Mojams, our second Sundays. Uh, one more, one more question after you guys. Um, what's your guys' names, and how old are you guys? How long have you been playing your instrument? So my name is Connor, and I'm 18 years old. <laughs> and let's see. Well, I'm not always. Usually, I'm actually pretty old, always comfortable to share this. I'm also someone on the autism spectrum, and I thought it was cool to share that. You know, I know it's like. Thank you. Yeah, for those that probably are raising an autistic uh, son, I wish you best of luck because, you know, raising a kid can be hard sometimes. But, yeah, I mean, everyone's got potential and I can see that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can't hurt to follow that. Uh, I, I, uh, I started playing guitar uh, at nine. Uh, I don't know my name. Oh, I'm Ari. I, Ari. Uh, and yeah, I started playing guitar at nine. I've been doing it for a while now. I started while I was living in Alaska, uh, on uh, in the archipelago on an island. So not a lot of people to play with. Uh, so you know, we came down here, uh, and it was fun. I live in Seattle now. It's great. I can go to uh, I can go to a town and country. It's like two blocks away. That blows my mind. I don't even really like the food there. It's just you know, it's a fact. And it's nice. Uh, anyway, yeah, that's me. I do live in Ballard. You know it. Yeah. Right, so one more thing. Uh, is there anywhere that we can find your band or you guys' music online? So for for me, I have a SoundCloud account with a capital M Monster, either no space or with space, all caps of FTW. And from from there, you'll notice I compose for. For people that work on video games, I'm a sound engineer and a composer for video games. Yeah, yeah. And I've been for like for four years. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, uh, I'm. You can just look me up on really any uh, streaming service as Ari Warmack. There's a space between the Ari and the Warmack. Don't forget that. Um, and yeah, yeah. I have music there. It's not this music, but it's still good. Uh, yeah. Also, also, shout out, shout out to Silver Moon, who were out here tearing it up. Yes! Tearing it up. Yeah. Crazy good. Sorry, right. Call of Duty. And shout out to Seattle Drum School of Music for making this all possible. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, guys. All right. Thank you, guys. Do one more round of applause. One more. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get up the next band. And uh, while they're going, um, in case you just got here, my name is Chandler. Um, I'm an engineer, stagehand, slash whatever they need kind of guy. Um, and today I'll also be hosting our Mo Jams, most likely in tandem with Mo herself. Um, however, if you are interested in jamming after all the bands, you can come find me. I'm holding that little whiteboard. You probably saw me walking around looking, looking, looking for instruments, but. Um, yeah, we can sign up. We got uh, vocals. Thank you, Casey. We got a lot of slots open. We got vocals, drums, bass, guitar, keys, and then other. And other is a giant bag or box of mystic percussion instruments. So even if you can't play one of these, you can still mo jam. Um, and then one note to the performers: even if you are a performer on this lineup, you can still sign up for mo jam. So. Let's go ahead and get the next band up here, which is Randy Duck. Duck. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Goose. Am I right? Yeah, that's why I did it. So you just leave your stuff up there. I forgot I'm in this band. Oh, <laughs> More pedals. More pedals. Oh god. Okay. It's actually the same amount of pedals, just in a different place. So we do have some cross-pollination here, which is kind of the beauty of the thing. All right, so does this band have a spokesperson to tell the history of how y'all came to be and what does duck mean and all of that good stuff? All right. 
Go ahead and tell the people all about your band. Hey. hey! So, I'm sure these people look very familiar, but they're two very, very amazing artists and musicians. We have lost a bass player in a tragic accident of scheduling. No. <laughs> It was, it was really crushing. Um, love you, Ollie. Rest in far away. Um, we met together by Ollie. Me and Ollie met together um, in a program called Rain City Rock Camp. And, and in that place, uh, he then contacted me and said, hey, there's this really cool person named Ari. We should like be in a band and like jam and then, you know. And then me and Blanche have at, had actually tried to get in a band for the past month or two. And then I realized the moment I came into practice at Seattle Drum School that they were in the band. So that was pretty cool. And now we're a band now. And D-U-K, Duck, um, means did you know if you want an acronym for that. But that's it. I also need a microphone for the drums. There should be one. There is no mic. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah. fine. I got you. What's up? So this is a good time also to shout out Tim's Tavern again for hosting us. So cool to be out here in White Center, you know, next door neighbor neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and also just a reminder, if you're just tuning in to the live stream, that this is a fundraiser and you can donate uh, to Seattle Drum School through Allied Arts Foundation. You can find more info at seattledrumschool.com. Or if you just have a few bucks that you'd like to uh, send our way to support some of our tuition assistance programs and uh, youth music showcases like this one or second Sundays at 3 you can always Venmo at Seattle Drum School all right and you guys look like you're a little bit closer to being ready to go so I'm gonna remove myself from the stage
The last song was called Applause. I wrote that one, or Strange. Wait, Strange, my bad. It's by <laughs> Strange. Um, we wrote these two songs and we swore at the beginning of practice we're not doing covers. But we're doing covers. <laughs> but it's fine, because you won't know it. <laughs> Duck D U K is that correct? All right, not not duck like uh, that goes quack. Duck the band. Um, I know that we've already seen you you guys up on stage, but um, let's just go through. Uh, what's your, your name? How long you playing? Um, how'd you guys come together? My name's Matt. I am 15. Um, we came together because we did a Mo Jam for the first time. It was so much fun. It was on Mother's Day. And nobody else was there but us, so it was really, really cool and individual. I mean, I kind of told you how we got together, but yeah. Hey, how long have you played? Oh, I I played I played piano when I was five, and then I turned eight, and then I stopped playing <laughs> piano, and then I decided to sing, and then I learned drums a year or two ago. One thing I want to say about that jam is that um, I was actually on drums for part of that one, and you can find that on our Instagram at Seattle Drum School. There's a clip we uh, we made a jam. It's called "I Love My Mom" because hence Mother's Day, you know. Um, but yeah. Mom's the best, also. Shout out to mine. 
All right. Well, I mean, we have seen you guys on stage. If you want, you can come up, say your name again, and how long you've been playing. But you know, in the meantime. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna get our next band up on stage, which is Paper Hearts, correct? Rain City Rockers, that is my bad. I need you more over than that. Rain City Rockers, no, I'm not too. I'm also going to be filling in on bass for them. So let's get them up on stage. One more round of applause. showcase second Sundays at three at our Georgetown school and then decided they all liked playing together so much that we made a band class with instructor Philip A. Peterson who is a multi-platinum record holder and producer of definitely some acts you all have heard of so you want to check him out he got caught in that crazy traffic trying to come from the north end today and couldn't make it to support the band but good thing we're live streaming I sent it to him <laughs> And coming up, we've got Rain City Rockers, and I think that these are our veterans, actually, of this group today. Um, Q, care to take a guess how many times your band has played already? Ooh, I don't know, Casey. I know we played a lot. We played the Georgetown Carnival twice, the Lake City Festival once, and um, let me take this as a chance to shout out Tim's Tavern yet again. Yeah! Yeah, and Sustainable Ballard. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and then uh, a couple student showcases, and I think you all did a second Sundays or two. Sounds about right. Yeah, all right. And uh, actually, word on the street is that we're probably doing uh, Sustainable Ballard again on September 28th, and I'll bet you if any of these other bands want to participate, that we could get you a gig out in Ballard, because... We're already gonna be bringing the equipment, like you may as well just come play, right? So let us know if you wanna get on the bill. Talk to your bandmates while you're all here together today. Mm-hmm. Yeah, shout out to Chandler. So Tiege, their instructor, Tiege DeCoster, uh, actually has a gig. His band, Battlestar Kalakala, is playing right now. It's a big, like, eight to 10 piece instrumental funk. They've got their first vinyl record out. You can find it online too. Uh, but same thing, I'm sending him the video so that he can check out what you guys are doing today and how you're rocking the place. All right, so it looks like we're still just making sure we're all set up and ready to go. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass the mic on to... <laughs> I'm going to pass the mic on to Illy, and Q, you can go ahead and introduce your bandmates while Scotty's still working on audio issues, and then he'll let you know when it's time to go, okay? okay. Does that sound right? All right. <laughs> Yeah. Um, there's Kian on the drums. Yeah. And lastly, 
but definitely not when he's Chan or on bass. Um, I want to take a moment to say a real big thank you to Chandler for filling in for Chase today. Um, we're really excited to be back at Jim's Tavern. Like Casey was saying, last time we played here, we were playing on that stage inside. Still really awesome, but we, um, this is our first chance to play like out here on the patio. So that's going to be really awesome.
is going to be come together by the Beatles. How did you, you guys come together? No, no pun intended. Um, uh, so, we're the Rain City Rockers. We came together like a year and a half ago. Yeah. 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 Give or take. <laughs> um, two years. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, and I'm 10 years old. I'm 11. I'm also 11. And I'm also 10. What's your guys' names? My name's Q. I'm Kian. I'm Elliot. And I'm Illy. <laughs> again, thank you so much for listening. And again, thank you so much, Tim's Tavern, for hosting this event. Um, and we came together through Seattle Drum School. I heard these guys needed a singer a long, long time ago, and I heard they needed a drummer. 
and uh, Keen told me, we go to the same school, so he told me that uh, they, they needed a guitarist. And to me and our uh, pianist, who's not here anymore, he left, he moved to Amsterdam. But uh, we joined, so yeah, we joined. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure that someone told me that they need to do another song. I can't remember that well. Okay. Is your mic still on? Yeah, mine is still on. Okay. 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 Okay.
hope you guys enjoyed those last few ones. We have two more for you. Oh, one more. Sorry. My bad. Is 
every week for about 10 years, I have put together bands of strangers on stage at Nectar Lounge in Fremont, and they make up brand new Mo Jam is Yo Jam songs on the spot. So every week, if you are over 21, you can come jam, but every month, if you're under 21, you can make up a brand new Mo Jam song on the spot up here. So right now, I'm taking sign-ups. If you want to sing a Mo Jam is Yo Jam original, those are the lyrics. You just say, Mo Jam is... And you can put it in the melody, you can make it the theme, you can do whatever you want with it. And so up first, for the first band, we have Chandler on vocals. Matt, uh, Chandler's gonna play guitar too. We have Ansel on guitar, Connor on keys, Ari on bass, and Matt on drums. We also have Q and Kaya on other, and we have a percussion box up here if you wanna grab percussion and play. Yeah, so I've taught at Seattle Drum School for five years, and I have so much fun teaching the littles with a color-coded drum kit program. And what's fun about Mojam is you never know what kind of song you're gonna get. And it's, I just hope that anyone who plays an instrument, if you sing, if you have an itch to sing, you come up here and try it once. If you try it once, you will feel uh, something different inside you. You will feel you know, a little more connected to the universe, maybe. You know, just like the stars out there, because you're improvising, you're connecting your heartbeat to whatever is around you, and everyone around you also has a heartbeat, so you're kind of connecting that groove together, and you're all connecting into that innate groove you developed a long time ago. When you were in your mom's belly, you heard her heartbeat, and that is what we're connecting to on stage, is that heartbeat feeling. And so we're gonna get up here, <laughs> And we're gonna make up a Mo Jam is song. And how this starts after everything's tuned, you start a groove and everyone joins in and makes up a brand new song together.
Now you know why Mojam is. Yay! That was great. Up next we have Connor on drums. Ari is gonna stay up here on bass. Noah, we have Noah on guitar. Uh, let's see, Angel, if you wanna stay up here on guitar as well. Yeah. Uh, Matt is gonna play some keys. I need a singer. I need a singer help. Yeah, you want? No, 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 I already saw And maybe, a, maybe, maybe another? Anyone? Anyone, anyone, anyone? It's okay.
Mojam is. Mojam is. Mojam is. Up next, our next band of strangers is Matt on vocals, Maceo on drums, Chandler on bass, Ari on guitar. We got Ansel on guitar. Noah's going to come back on the next one. The final one will be the next one. And then we have Connor who's going to play keys on the next two if you're cool with that. <laughs> Thanks, bud. Appreciate y'all. I'll pay you later. <laughs> no, I can't pay the jammers, otherwise we'd have to pay 75 jammers every Monday. Thank you. 
Hey, 